Hey guys, it's Rob. <clears throat> hey, uh, I'm back from uh, Hurricane Irma. Um, we did uh, we did okay. We didn't have any damage to the house. Uh, minor shingle damage. Uh, we got somebody out coming out next week to give me an estimate on those. Uh, so those of you that uh, sent me messages, thank you very much. Uh, asking if you're okay. Uh, we're good. Um, so today, I want to go completely off reservation and. Um, talk about a DIY thing that's got absolutely nothing to do with boats. Uh, this is about home ownership. Uh, even if you're a renter, uh, this is something that you can do um, to protect your house or to protect um, your family from being without air conditioning. All right, so I want to talk about air conditioners. And the reason this come, I'm bringing this up is because in our last place, uh, we lived in a townhome. And we had a couple of neighbors where their, the drain pipe, and a lot of people don't know there's a drain pipe in an air conditioning unit, got clogged up from dust and just crap uh, in the air. Um, so when my wife and I bought this house uh, three months ago, um, being the, the DIY guy that I am, my dad raised me to do everything myself, taught me uh, how to do a lot of stuff. He was a general contractor, so it kind of trickled on down. Um, but I never knew before living in that place uh, a couple months ago that those things can get clogged up. Um, I had no idea. So the guy that came out to fix some of those things told me how to fix it. Um, and it's really simple. And it, in my opinion, it should be something that you do every month. Like along with your, you change your air filter in your, your air conditioning. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the backyard kind of show what I'm talking about and I'll be right back. Okay, here I am in the backyard. Uh, and don't judge me on what's going on around here when I show you what I'm doing because it's, I just tore out a bunch of bushes and I'm, I'm going to extend my patio out around my AC unit. But here's what I want to show you. <clears throat> that little white PVC pipe right there is the drain for all the condensation that happens within your AC unit um, from upstairs or wherever your air handler is, okay? You'll see like water and shit just trickling out uh, when your air condition is moving and, and working. Um, but this, what, it, what these do is they go underground and there's a big U, just like a, there's an elbow, just like any plumbing in the house to keep smell and stuff like that out. <clears throat> and then it goes upstairs. Um, so, locate that outside, um, and then I'll be back to show you what's uh, upside or inside. Okay, so here we are inside. This is my air conditioning unit. This is what they call the air handler. All right. Now, you'll see <clears throat> these pipes here. Condensation goes in. Uh, if you ever looked inside of here, there's a big V. Uh, a frame looking thing it's got coils on it gets cold and blah 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 well you'll get some condensation and it comes it fills in a pan in there and it gets too full and it comes out and drains down right and it go this hose this pipe right here is the one that goes all the way downstairs and then ultimately ends up outside now what happens is these things get full they'll get clogged and the water will just eventually keep rising work its way up here it back in here and then it comes out this one it starts to flow out this one and right back in there you'll see that thing with the little wire hanging out of it that's a float and when the water gets in here it raises that float and it shuts your air conditioning off most people don't know that it's a safety mechanism all right now you can just pull that thing out of there Let's see if I can see it it's just a little floating bobber I don't know if you can see it in there that's it but it comes out but that floats and it cuts the power to your AC so, you can clean these things out. All your units are going to have some sort of access. All right? Bam, there it is. Lid comes right off. Get a little funnel, like, you know, a kitchen funnel or, you know, just a, like an oil funnel. Uh, just clean it out real good. And then put some distilled wet white vinegar down there. Now, vinegar, because it's natural, it's not going to harm anything like a lot of people use bleach um, I've been told 
bleach over time can damage plastic pipe. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't care. So I used vinegar because it naturally breaks down a lot of shit. Pour vinegar down there. Like one day, let it sit. Do like a half a gallon. It's going to throw some stuff out in the backyard. And I'm going to show you. We videotaped the shit that came out of my house. Out of this pipe. I'm going to plug it into this video. and it, It's vulgar. It's disgusting. So, and then you let it sit for a day. 24 hours, 48 hours, it doesn't matter. Um, your air conditioning is going to keep working. It doesn't do anything. You're just throwing some stuff down there to break up all the crap. All right? And then you go in the next day. You dump some more. Dump the rest of it down there. And then you follow it up with, you know, maybe, you know, a gallon or two of, like, lukewarm water. Um, and then I'll show you what that does. Um, and I'll be back. I'm getting ready to loop that video in here, right here. Snoopy pushing that open? <laughs> yeah. huh. Good for him. Here it comes. Oh. That is disgusting. Oh my god. Grab that sprinkler. That's what I was using to move it. Oh my oh. god. Yeah. He's probably like, yeah, I need to get out of here. That is so gross. I don't know if he's done or not. Chunky. It's a lot better though. Yeah. Hmm. It was like nothing else coming out of that one. Gross. That's so nasty. Okay. That was pretty friggin' disgusting, wasn't it? Now, all that is, I'm telling you, that's just dust and just shit from the air uh, that just sits in those pipes because all it is is it's just dripping. So there's no flow, like a heavy flow, to wash anything out. So it just sits in there. And there's dust from the house and, you know, whatever else gets in that, in that air. And, and it just sits in there. It's, it's just really gross. So, again... I apologize for those of you that are shaking their head like, what the hell has this got to do with boats? It's got nothing to do with boats. This is something that I discovered um, that's easy to fix but can cause a lot of damage and cost you a lot of money. Most heating and air conditioning guys will charge you 150 bucks to do what I just told you to do. Um, when we first moved in, I had a, um, a tune-up on our air conditioning unit. Um, and I asked the guy, and it's about 150 bucks for them to come out and do the same thing. The really bad ones are, um, they'll, they'll put a shop vac up top and blow it out, or a shop vac on down here and try to suck all that crap out, and it gets bad. I mean, it gets really bad. Um, so, in my, my personal opinion is, like, I got all these reminders in my phone. You know, I change my uh, air filter every month, uh, on the 15th of every, every month. And I've got that extra bottle of vinegar that's sitting up there. I'll throw in half a gallon once a month. Vinegar ain't but two or three bucks for a gallon. Um, and it goes a long way. I, I recommend that. Uh, again, I'm not an expert. Um, but this is something that I've picked up. And I thought I would share it with you guys because um, I don't care how much money everybody makes. 150 bucks is a lot of money. 
um, to a lot of people. And for something that we can fix ourselves with a little bit of diligence and like three bucks in vinegar. Um, so I wanted to pass along um, this because I thought this was a really good one. Um, especially with the summer being over, it will use the air a lot. You're going to get into the heating. Um, it's much shittier to have a cold house than a hot house, in my opinion. So this is something that you can do, preventative maintenance, um, and hopefully uh, somebody gets something out of it. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So I hope uh, hope it works. Hope you know somebody does it and finds out that their shit was clogged up real good and and uh, they cleaned it up for themselves. So uh, that's it, guys. Have a good one.